Cancer. What's popping? Old ass lip just hopped in. I got options. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, yeah, so welcome to the uh, Crack Shack straight from the Las Vegas Strip. That's what I look like I've been doing all day. Is hook up. Yeah, no, we're not going to do that. So anyway, <laughs> um, I'm sorry. I've been doing readings all day, so I'm really tired. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a past, present, and future. And then I'm going to pull three cards for the most likely outcome. For you, if you feel like this is your story and it resonates, you can click click the link below in the description box to purchase the extended. All right, five shuffles for cancer, please. Two more shuffles for cancer, please. Universe, spirits, and guides. What can you tell me about cancer? Cancer, your overall en energy is the world. This could talk about you ending something or somebody else ending something with you. This could also be about you trying to find success within your life. In the recent past year, we have nine of coins, the knight of coins, and the moon. So you are focused on yourself. You are being independent, looking good, feeling good, whatever the case may be. I feel like you're very money-focused. Um, I feel like you were very focused on making sure that things was, were stable within your life, with your career, or just in your home life, I feel, I want to say. Um, I feel like people are seeing you right now as, or people were seeing you as somebody very independent, somebody very focused, I feel like, and I feel like you were doing things right. However, um... There's a secret here, some kind of deceit or illusion here in the past. And I feel like it's following you into the present because followed by the moon, we have the eight of swords, the two of swords, but then we have the ace of wands. So right now you could be feeling stuck or confused in a situation. You could be trying to um, procrastinate on making a decision with a person or a career move, whatever the case may be. It could have something to do with this moon card right here. But as of right now, um, you are a little confused. You could be not wanting to see something for what it is. But whatever the case may be, I feel like it's possible you may make a decision because we have the Ace of Wands right here. This is a passionate new beginning or a new passionate opportunity. doesn't mean that it happens or is happening, but there, the opportunity um, will be available to you. Or you will, make, you will make the opportunity available to someone else. Then in the future here is the Empress. So I feel like this could be you or this could be somebody else, but this is somebody that knows their worth. This could be a mother or a father figure. It doesn't have to be. This is somebody that is chilling, relaxed, sitting back, sitting pretty, you know what I mean? Allowing things to come to them. But then we have the chariot here. This is someone coming towards you or you coming, com, com, coming towards somebody else, but then we have burdens here. So we'll have to see. So let's go ahead and clarify. What is the moon doing here? What is the moon doing here in the past for Cancer? The Knight of Coins again. So in the past here, um, I almost said Virgo. I don't know why. Um, so in the past here, Cancer, um, you were feeling independent, looking good, feeling good, I think. Um... I want to say you walked right into something. It's like you walked right into something and then walked right back out as soon as you saw it. That's what I want to say. You ever like, 
<laughs> you ever like walk into a party and you're like, yeah, this is going to be really fun. And then you show up and like everyone's arguing or like the vibe is just off, you know, and you're like, ah, you know what I mean? That's kind of what it feels like to me. It's like, you're like, yeah, cool. Let's try this out. Whatever. It's all good. You know? And you like, you know, you were careful with every step that you took, you know, you wanted to make sure, you know, it was good, like whatever, peeping out the scene. And then it's like, you're like, yeah, I think I'm just going to go ahead and move on here. So um, whether that's you or somebody else, I felt like a situation was deceptive. And uh, you want to work on your finances instead, but you moved on. Um, let's see what this Eight of Swords is. Why is this Eight of Swords here for Cancer? Now, whether the, the, uh, now, whether it was successful or not, I have no idea. I don't think so. Not with this present energy. Queen of Coins. Why? Okay, two cards wanted to come out. What's going on? Cancer, um... Clarifying the Eight of Swords, we have the Queen of Coins, the Three of Swords, and the Queen of Cups. This is a third-party situation. Whether this is you doing it or somebody else, um, you could be dealing with a water and an earth sign. doesn't have to be. But this is, uh, there's one person here who's very stable, who's very money-focused. You could view them as a businessman, businesswoman. And then there's another person who's a little bit more emotional, intriguing, sensitive, Mutual love here between the both of you, okay? This uh, queen of coins, this could be a male or a female, it doesn't matter, but this is causing you to feel confused. I feel like this is why you are stuck if this is you in the third party. And this is you having to choose between two people, okay? What's popping? <laughs> now we have the two of swords. Why are the two of swords here? Where's the two of swords here? Page of Swords. Why? <laughs> what? All right. So there's somebody here. You're still confused, and I feel like you're procrastinating on making a decision. I feel like you are watching somebody to try and get more information, possibly the both of them, to figure out what kind of decision that you need to make because the Two of Swords here is clarified by the Page of Swords and then the Two of Coins. This is somebody juggling two people. This is somebody spying, watching. Somebody could be doing this to you. Take it how it resonates, okay? But I'm trying to figure this out here. Somebody here may have moved on from you because of this situation. But there were some secret lies to see here, okay? A lot of pain. A lot of pain. I feel like there is pain in between these two people here. I feel like both of these people are in pain. Probably you as well. You are just in, it's a complete, like this whole present energy is complete and utter confusion. You don't know what the hell you're doing. <laughs> you don't know what the hell you're doing. You want to come, you want to go, you want to be independent, you want to be single, you want an end. It. Like, what's good? So let me clarify this uh, world right here. Why is this world here for cancer? Ace of Cups. Why? <sighs> cancer. I feel like this is you ending something and taking control of a situation to have a new beginning with someone else. A lot of third-party energy here. Like I said, feel free. If this is your person doing this to you and somebody else, then that's what it is. But um, I'm just going to say it's you, all right? So you are here uh, in this energy of wanting to end a situation because you feel stuck. You feel confused. You're not sure whether to shit or wind your watch. I feel like you're watching um, probably both people at this point, to be honest, to try and make a definitive decision. But I feel like you are not, I feel like you're not trying to use your emotions in this. But here we have the emperor and the empress. There's a lot of core, uh, also with the queen of cups and the queen of coins. Too many cooks in the kitchen. But this could be a, this could be a, um, a divine connection here with the emperor and the empress here. Yeah. 
but you um you want to go for if if this is your person then you want to go for your emperor here you're having you're ending something to have a new beginning with this emperor here so if this is you then this is you let's see what this ace of wands is here in the present why is this ace of wands here king of cups king of cups here there's a lot of love here i feel like it's uh with this emperor person this person this person that you want a new beginning in love with there's a lot of love here but i feel like somebody here is trying to be cautious with their emotions i feel like this is you mm, i'm not feeling that no 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 not feeling that give me another card for the ace of the world again So, this new beginning here, you know, it's almost like a lust and a love. That's what this looks like to me. It's almost like a lust and a love. But I don't know which one you're trying to end because with the lust, we have the world card. With the world card, we have the cups. We have the love, the, the, you know, but it's like, you are not trying to, you are being very cautious right now of your emotions. I feel we have the King and the Queen of Cups here. You are trying to be very cautious of your emotions here. And I feel like there, I feel like you are trying to be cautious of other people's emotions. I feel like this is a sensitive subject for somebody. I want to say. Could have been this queen of uh, coins person that moved away from the susceptive energy in the past. Okay. All right, Cancer, why is this Empress here? Why is this Empress here for Cancer? Four of Cups. Four Cups and the King of Wands. Um, whoever is in this King of Wands energy, I feel like you're not impressed. <laughs> I feel like you're just not impressed with somebody. Here, this is this is you, can, uh, cancer energy, the chariot. But I feel like somebody's gonna come uh, come to you, and I feel like you're just not gonna be impressed. Or if this is if this is you coming to somebody else, I feel like they're not gonna be impressed. And just take it how it resonates. <laughs> yeah, I feel like this empress is you here. I feel like somebody is trying to make you an offer. You may find them as too egocentric. You may feel like they just get too bored too easily. Like, you know, you're just kind of, you're kind of going to be like the flavor of the week type of deal. And I feel like you don't want that. I feel like you want something substantial. I feel like you want something emotional. But I feel like sometimes with you, there is a, um, a switch between love and lust. You're not sure which one to take, which one, you know what I mean? So why is this chariot here? The tower. No, 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 no. Just give me one more card. Oof. The tower and the ace of coins. So somebody's coming in and they're coming in fast, but it's going to cause a tower moment. The ace of coins can sometimes represent a road to marriage or maybe somebody that you could see um, getting married to, okay? But there's too many cooks in the kitchen. There's too many people in the situation. I mean, this is insane. I'm trying to see. I'm wondering if this King of Cups has something to do. But I feel like this King of Cups is you, though. Because the King of Cups here is tied up to this fire energy. And then we have the fire energy here. But I feel like this King of Cups is you, though. Not the not the King of Wands. Okay. Um... Sit back and take a look for a minute. 
Okay. Uh, yeah, somebody's coming in and coming in fast, but I don't think that either of y'all are going to like it. I don't think it's going to be easy. But it might um, create a new opportunity for something. Or there could be... There could be a fight around you taking new opportunity with somebody else. Why the Ace of Coins? The Knight of Swords. I can't. I can't with these four cards. I feel like whoever is coming in is just all over the place. It might be this King of Wands person. It might be the same person as this King of Wands person because after you reject somebody... You know, it's like, you know, somebody like has a freak out. Somebody has a freak out after you reject somebody else. After you reject this person, I mean. And it's like, because they want a new beginning, but I feel like it's just going to end in conflict, stress, and drama with this Knight of Swords here. Okay? Because the King of Wands and the Knight of Swords can represent uh, two people that get bored easily. This could be somebody that thinks that they know it all. You know what I mean? Why is this Ten of Wands here? Oh my god. The Queen of Wands. The Magician. I feel like there's a side piece here. I feel like somebody's trying to manifest you. Whoever the side piece is. Could be the same as the King of Wands person, all right? This is a mess, though. I'm going to be honest with you. They're trying to manifest this, but you just see this as too much of a burden. Like I said, too many cooks in the kitchen. There's too much pain. There's too much confusion, confusion too much indecision. A battle, a battle between lust and love. Lust and love. That's what it seems like to me. And I feel like you don't know, I feel like you don't know what, it's like whoever this more fiery um, energy is that you might view as the more lustful energy, I feel like you feel the need to be cautious with this per person. I feel like you need to uh, be cautious with this person because you may feel that this person is just in and out. This could be this King of Wands energy here. And that's why you reject them. But I feel like they get pissed. I feel like they get pissed and they go harder. You know what I mean? But this is just a burden. So it's going to be whoever, um, I feel like it's going to be whoever you have the love for is who you're going to go for. Um, the person that you have this love for, this could be an Aries, but it doesn't have to be. But whoever embodies this energy of not wearing their heart on their sleeve, you know what I mean? Taking control of things, an authoritative figure possibly. I feel like that's who you're going to choose. If this is you. What is the most likely outcome um, for cancer? Tower at the bottom of the deck. We have the Five of Wands, the Eight of Wands, and the High Priestess. So, <laughs> I feel like there's going to be a lot of people fighting. And that doesn't surprise me because there's tons of court cards all over the goddamn place. All right? And um, you will talk about it with somebody. You will talk about it with somebody. But I feel like you're going to talk uh, to somebody about whatever secret this was here in the past, it looks like to me. You may talk about whatever secret was in the past here. That's going to be brought up. And this may cause conflict as well. So I don't know who that's with. Okay? But there's definitely third parties. Fourth parties. I don't know. But I mean, damn. With this eight of swords and then clarify with the queen of coins, the three of swords, and the queen of cups. With the three of swords right in the middle of them. Cancer. What's popping? Old ass wig. This hot thing. I was playing. Anyway, Cancer, I'm going to take a look at your person. 
In the extended, we're going to look at um, their, oh my God, their feelings, how they perceive you and the action they may plan on be, they may plan on taking. I'm tired, y'all. All right. Peace out, Cancer. See you in the extended. Bye.